Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and the character that we're going to be doing today for Road to Elite Smash I nearly forgot about uh, in the best of technically 89 characters in Smash Ultimate. Um, one almost got left out, and I may as well give you a hint as to who that fighter is. He is the only 2D fighter in the game. That only leaves one character, and that would be Mr. Game & Watch. Um, yeah, I don't know why I forgot about him. I think he's a pretty interesting character. He can be annoying, but you know, he can also pull off some pretty crazy stuff if given the right tools. So let's pick Mr. Game & Watch. Obviously the black skin. Default. Always the best. Ooh, Daisy. Alright. Uh, this is a, um, uh, could go either way. <laughs> Not really sure where this stands on the actual match for Game & Watch, but also in some moves. So you've seen Death Deck, Nair, and Up Smash. Those are all pretty good. Gotta be careful. Yeah, this is gonna be a long, campy match. But that bucket, I'll show you a little bit of what that bucket can do. It's pretty good. I'm gonna have to die, unfortunately, is that, um, I'd say Peach Bomber, but it's not Peach, it's Daisy. So yeah, up tilt. Probably his worst move, but even then it's still not that bad. And you can see I'm just juggling with up air and down smash. A lot of different ways that can send you, even bury you set up for, for your skills. I wanna see if I can get this bucket thing to work. Alright, his key is, is, is down here. That F smash is super good as well. You know, set up, set up, added down smash. Alright, and that pumps. Unfortunately, we can't use it, just got hit by Daisy's down smash. Do you remember how good that down smash is when we used it? Alright, come on. Alright, uh, I did it the wrong way, but I was trying to use that bucket. Oh, and looks like Daisy's dead. Alright, let's see if I can try to get her to spike. I'm out of here. Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> Maybe? Yeah. Nah. No, I'm just kidding. I'd rather let Daisy float slowly to her death. Just ring the bell, because that's it. Alright, looks like we're back on home turf for this second game. Of course, we're on FD. See, that's what I was telling you. So, you saw that big Mr. Game Watcher's bucket can uh, reflect that. You see right there. Pretty helpful. But it can also do something else that I will show later. For, uh, projectiles. But yeah, it's pretty helpful in this matchup to do, be able to reflect Daisy and turn up. I like turtles. Right, good back here. I haven't been using it that much, but it's definitely really good. Oh yeah, that neutral B. I almost forgot about it. It'd be really annoying if they're off stage and I can just pelt them with stuff. So right. no head. I don't know why he keeps thinking that side B is a good option. It isn't always. Especially the way nope. she's using it. See, back here just stops it. Nope. See, backs it, stops it again. Back here. Alright. That jab. You can do well, actually a lot of damage. Alright. Alright. Can we get much higher? So high. Ooh, the down smash stops and it just sends him right up. Alright. Alright, last talk for Daisy. Just gotta be careful now. Couldn't duck it out of that. Okay. Alright, good. Up still in the back here. Oh, uh, I couldn't get another one. Uh, didn't fall fast enough. Alright. 157 still living. Trying to get the bomb. Down smash. Didn't even bury, unfortunately. We haven't gotten one of those down smash buries yet, but... You know what we do have is Mr. Game Watch in Elite Smash. <laughs> kind of like this, you know, little dance for his victory screen. And, you know, Mr. Game & Watch was not that bad to play. Unfortunately, we only were able to do one matchup for this uh, run, at least on Elite Smash, and it was actually quite easy. You know, I was able to show off a little bit more of what Game & Watch can do, at least with his toolkit, and you can see that he actually has some really good moves, and I definitely did show a lot, but I didn't show everything. There's a lot more I can show. So with that, uh, I'm going to go open up in another arena and have one of our friends play against our Game & Watch and see if uh, he can take some games off of it. So let's go right to that. So I know you guys are used to seeing Phoenix around, but I, I have more friends than just one. And this is my friend Jokers. Um, he plays a lot of different characters. Um, I see Byleth, Jorker... 
Joker and Sora a lot, and um, I think all of them are are a little bit bad for Mr. Game and Watch. So that was a lie. Um, some of them are good. All right, so he's gonna be going Violet. Uh, he's Violet isn't that bad actually, and neither is my Game and Watch. So you know, this is gonna be a pretty fair fight for the most part. Slow it in. As we show on the road. Alright, so it's two nairs. I gotta tell you, if I was able to continue that, uh, his nair can just combo into itself and you get some pretty stupid setups with that. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. I should not have I've done that. Oh <laughs> never mind. False alarm. This is a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. Of course, that bucket all the way up to full. You see what I was talking about? Yeah, that bucket is deadly if you get all the way up. They, they do a ridiculous amount of damage, like around 70%, as you saw. Alright. Okay, he's just trying to guess with the up B. We're not going to let him. This will be into the death deck. And. I want to die. Dead. I think it's something you could really just do. You just pressure him forward here. Go aggressively with up B because it's pretty high. Uh, another thing you is really cool is that it is frame three, which is ridiculously fast. Ah, looks like we couldn't live that. So yeah, Mr. Game Watch up B. It's really fast, so you can. It's like his best move out of shield and down tilt. Actually, really fast as well. I can launch him pretty far as well. Uh, I didn't get the key spike. Uh, I was a little too short there. I uh, maybe I could have made it with an air dodge, but I just didn't act it fast enough. Alright. Get those sausages out. Uh, I didn't get the spike that time either. That one's a little bit hard too as well. It's a little bit easier than someone like Terry, but it's a little bit And like that, almost got the kill actually. Alright. Bomb and that should do it. Just aggressive up beat. And we got him. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I definitely like using that bucket to just completely obliterate him that first stock. Alright. So game two, we're on a small battlefield this time. Let's see if we can get some other stuff. There's actually one move out of Game Watch's uh, neutral specials that I have not used yet. And it's a pretty funny one, let me tell you. If I get the opportunity, I'll use it. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? But, uh, yeah, I gotta be careful. Mr. Game & Watch is very, very light. So, I can die really, really early to fly with that smash. And he can do that. Ah, oh, shoot. I did not realize I was in rage and I missed my attack. So. Alright, let's bring this all the way back. I think Mr. Game & Watch can do it. Yeah, that is not happening, sorry. Look at that, he's just nearly dead from that. I think he should have died. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage! Now he did. <laughs> Alright, that's one down, just need two more. Okay. Good down here. Do a little more of the sausages. Into that down tilt. Very, very good. All right, now we're just we got it back to I'm down. Okay, that shield is looking really slow there. Sorry, that's small. There we go. Down there. I just, just really be careful. And that was a judge. So I'm trying to get a certain number that you may see like that. That was the nine. Nine will just kill you ridiculously early. Along with his other moves, which do a bunch of things, smattering your things. But you know, this is something I hit. Watch this. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. You know, that was a really fun combo to hit. Just hit it in case I, you know, didn't get that 9 in the last match, but it was completely unexpected. Thought it was funny. You know, may as well save it. Uh, you know, Mr. Game & Watch, definitely a very annoying character. Definitely a pretty luck base, but, you know, I was able to have some fun with him regardless. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. And probably even 9 the subscribe button. I'm sure that would be very, very helpful for me and my channel so definitely do that uh and i will see you guys in the next one and until then peace out and make it a great day everyone